Three Kingsport Board of Education candidates have earned enough votes to advance to the general election. Thanks for joining us on News Channel 11 at 5. I'm Casey Marlar. I'm Sarah Diamond. Three Board of Education seats are up for uh, grabs this year. Philip Marshall, Todd Golden and Jamie Jackson have all moved to the general election. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson joins us from our Kingsport Bureau to tell us what these candidates plan uh, to focus on while on the board. Catherine? Yeah, Sarah Casey turnout was pretty low in the race this year, but it was about 30%. That's pretty low for a presidential year, but that didn't make the nerves even any less for the competitors or the excitement for the winners any less. Um, I probably refreshed my computer screen 1400 times, um, kind of watching everything come in. It was it was quite exciting. I was very surprised, very happy. Um, and just feel blessed. After a nail-biting election, newcomers Jamie Jackson and Philip Marshall are poised to join Kingsport's Board of Education alongside incumbent Todd Golden. I caught up with Jackson and Marshall today and asked how they judge their success after a four-year term. Marshall told me he's focused on keeping the district academically competitive to its neighbors. Although our growth scores may not be as low as other systems, they're improving at a faster rate than we are. So I would like to close that gap and and surpass, you know, other cities like like uh, Johnson City, Washington County and Jackson, who ran for board in 2021, says career and technical education is her top priority. I think at the end of four years, if I'm able to look back and see more students participating, getting more licenses, more certifications than when I began, I'll feel like I was able to really have a positive impact um, beyond that. Uh, I would just love to see maybe a new school or two under construction or a renovation of a current building. Incumbent Todd Golden said in a written statement, quote, I am deeply honored and humbled to be able to continue serving on the BOE. I want to thank each and every person who supported me throughout this journey. He added, quote, I look forward to working collaboratively with the two newest members elected to the BOE to ensure the best possible education for all of our students. Last night's was a primary election. The deadline for independent candidates has already passed, which means that the winners will most likely go on to join the board after the August general election. Now there is a possibility that a write-in candidate could, com could challenge them come August, but that's pretty unlikely. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you. Catherine, thanks. And we are your local election headquarters. You can view races from the national to the local level by going to our website, WJHL.com. Go to the News tab and click your local election headquarters.